What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon, NBA. Just kidding. It's NASCAR. We've already got our NBA out. We've got NASCAR today. It's the Am Better Health uh, 400 in Atlanta. So if you have not already, right here in the description of this video is this article. It goes over the, some of the drivers we like, some that we don't, some that we have a lot of interest in, and some we have just enough interest that we feel okay with it. So, that being said, we are going to, if you've never played Na or NASCAR before, if you didn't play last week with us, it's a little bit different when you're building lineups, when you're trying to do some of your um, construction. So what you're looking for with NASCAR, whether or not it's FanDuel with place differential or DraftKings with, you know, dominator drivers or place differential there, the farther back the driver is on the starting line, the more places he goes up, that's where you get your fantasy points. So yes, you do in, in the theory, if you're trying to win that GPP, you basically need to nail the first uh, one through six drivers. Um, so drivers that last one through six, again, just like last week, you're going to have those big wrecks and, and that's, that's NASCAR. Um, we can go through all of the information that we possibly can. We can look at the stats. We can look at the weather. We can look at the historical matchup. We can look at everything, but if there's one wreck that they get caught up in, they could, they're down. Maybe they, 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 you're not going to get anything, uh, which happened last week. We had one of our drivers. Or no, I think we missed the big wreck, but they're right off the bat on like either lap three or five, there was a, a big wreck and they only had three, some of the drivers only got three laps in. Um, so it, it's kind of going to happen. Uh, you kind of got a feel about it, but I wanted to go through the driver's list. I wanted to see um, kind of the players that we're looking at. So driving wise, Denny Hamlin starting at 13th, he can go up 13, 12 other spots. Uh, he's one of the better drivers on here. That's why he's the most expensive. That is why, uh, and you can kind of just see last week, um, we look at his race log, um, started eighth, finished 19th, had fastest laps, which gets points, had 10 laps led, which gets points. He ended up with 20 fantasy points. Not the best, obviously. Um, and I can't give you like a number. So I can't say like, oh, with basketball, you're looking six, seven times value. We can't really do that. Um, but I wanted to just kind of show you, like, you know, had the fastest opening practice in NASCAR, started eighth, finished 19th. Like, he could only go up seven other spots. That's the problem. But we look at this, 13th, he, you know, he's had success. Uh, we kind of just look at this. So before we get into it, let's just kind of look at the slate, look at what this track offers. So Atlanta was reconfigured before the 22 season. Um, they wanted to try to transform it into a drafting style super speedway. So uh, just a little bit different. You know, there's other parts that, and, and you can see that we've mentioned in last week's video that Hendrick Motors, Motorsports had the best odds for race. Uh, for winning. Um, it's a one and a half mile track. Um, it races similar to both Daytona and Talladega. Uh, large pack racing. So you want to find those drivers that lead up front and stay in the front for a bit, get you those fastest laps and also get you uh, those laps led. We've seen pure place differential win this last fall. Um, so it's a little bit different. As you'll see, uh, they race these tracks twice a year. Um, so we look at this I feel like when you're building your lineup, if you played last week, build it exactly how we did Daytona. Find those players, those drivers that are down lower. Let's try to build a lineup that way. So just kind of looking at this, um, these are the drivers that I have a lot of interest in. So building multiple lineups have a lot of interest in. Uh, Denny Hamlin, due to his pri uh, differential. Um, Joey Logano, I know he's in second. Uh but he's one that could lead a lot of laps and get you those points. So he's not going to get you those place differential points. He could get you those fastest lap points. He could get you those uh, laps led points. So this is one where not 100% want to play from all the way behind. Logano, I like him there. Uh, William Byron just went off of winning the Daytona 500. He's now 10,000. We look at this. He was 8,700 and he got 65 fantasy points, won the Daytona 500. Um, 
I, I love this. I love me some William Byron here. Not the sexiest name, not the flashiest driver, but he got it done in the Daytona, the biggest race of the year, which started it off. Another one is Chase Elliott. He is starting in 28th spot. He's 9,800. He can go 27 spots up. Uh, I absolutely love Chase Elliott here. Um, Kislowski, Chris Bell, these guys are the ones that I really do like. So 22nd for Chris Bell. Uh, Kislowski is 24th. They're under 10K. We're able to build around that. Eric Jones is another one. So if we look at Eric Jones, I think he's probably going to be the most, uh, the highest owned uh, driver today. He's in 37th. He can go up 36 spots. He's only 8,000. He's got two top 10s. Like We're looking at this. He's going to probably be in every one of your lineups that you're building. So absolutely love Eric Jones. Probably the most I like out of any driver today. Got Michael McDowell. Um, he's leading. So this is what I'm saying. So McDowell is at 7,700. Did not have the best showing last week. Obviously, he had minus 28. Started at second and finished 36th uh, at 7,200. People are going to be off of him. He is now on the pole position for this. So he can only go down. That's the problem. This is a tournament play, but if he stays up front, leads, let's say 50, 60, 100 laps, he's going to get you those points as long as he doesn't wreck out and doesn't lose out. McDowell is in, he's in a good spot at his price per dollar. And if he gets those points to lead up front a lot, we could see him there, especially. Uh, I think he'll be a little bit lower owned due to being on the pole position. Uh, Corey LaJoy is another one, or LaJoy. Um, he's 30 seconds, so he can go up 31 spots. He's at 6,800. He's coming off 48.7 fantasy, or coming off of uh, 67 fantasy points last week. 29 uh, started 29th, finished top five at number four. Had three fastest laps and led one lap for 67 fantasy points at 6,000. Now he's 6,800. So Corey LaJoy here, we put him in there. I mean, you can average pretty well here when you're building your lineup. Um, another one is Nemechek. Now, I was I will admit I was not on him last week. He is now in 34th, um, so he can go up 33 more spots. Last week, he had five lap fastest laps. He did not lead any laps, but he still got 45 fantasy points at 6,400. Now he's gone down, uh, which is crazy because he started 10th, ended 7th, only had three points or three spot differential there, had 45 fantasy points there. So, John H. Nemechek, I don't mind. I'm assuming he's uh, Joe Nemechek's son, I would guess. Um, I used to watch racing a lot more. Um, but yeah, I, I I will look at him at 6,200. He allows you to pay other positions there. Um, and that's like all of the drivers that I have a ton of interest in. If, if anyone's that other ones jump out would be... Um, kind of looking at yeah we went over them eric jones is probably my favorite one of the day uh lejoy would be my probably be my second favorite so you gotta find those lower owned guys too i think one that might jump out now this is a tournament play as well but zane smith at 29th he's 5700 he was 5800 last week started 14th ended 13th had two fastest laps and still had 32 fantasy points you throw him in there and you can still go up to 9800 uh, to get those other guys you want so i look at keselowski would be another one that i'd look at uh, a cheaper option would be um Justin Haley a little bit. If we look at Justin Haley, we look at him at 31st. He can go up 30 spots. Didn't do too well last week. Started 22nd, finished 26th. So not the best, but he was in store. But I'm he would still be a cheaper option. But right here, I'm going to go Kozlowski, uh, which still averages 10,100. So if you want to go Chase Elliott at 28th for that uh, spot there, you can. And then you have 10,400. Do you think Logano runs? away with it I, I he is in a good spot um so then you can average a logano there now this will be one of the lineups that i build we have the article down below which you can find here which kind kind of covers the players we talked about uh, our cheat sheet has more information there to help you out as well so that's what i've got in this nascar video if you have not already checked out the website go to fantasyteamadvice.com 
We go check out our NBA content. That video is already out, ready to go. We've already got our DraftKings article out. The cheat sheet is out. The bacon station is out. And the lineups are out there for you. So just wanted to give you this heads up on the video. So good luck with the AM. Uh, with the 400 today, we've got four, depending on when you watch this video, we've got four and a half hours to go. So good luck with NASCAR today. Go check out NBA. We're going to rock and roll the next week and so on and so forth with DFS. So good luck. And as always, let's bring up some bacon. Peace.